Hi, I'm Gigi. I'm the artsy housewife. This is Boone. It's my husband, and he's Mr. Artsy Housewife. And uh, I design cross stitch patterns, and he ships said <laughs> cross stitch patterns. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this is our floss tube number eleven, and um, we are just we don't have anything particularly special. It's just been a while. We've worked on a few things. Um, yeah, so it's we been about a, been about a month. Mm -hmm. Last time we introduced some of the some of our new patterns for the marketplace, yeah. and it's been a busy month. Yep, been a yeah, busy month. it's been a really busy month. So I haven't put a lot of stitches in mm -hmm. myself, but um, quite a few things to share. Yeah, so let's just do it. Oh, and we had a giveaway last time, mm -hmm. so but that's um, at the end. I know, but that's just a big reason why we want to jump on here. I'm leaving. I'll be out of town mm -hmm. in oh, next week. Um, next weekend, because I'm going to go to the Pacific Northwest Stitch Summit, PNWSS, in Portland. Um, it's my first stitching retreat I've ever been to. Yep. So, Time away from the family, yeah. your own hotel room. Yeah. Yep. So I uh, just thought we would do this before that. Yeah, before we head out. It's also been just... A really long time. We were doing it kind of like every couple weeks or three weeks. I think it's been more like five. Yeah, so. it was like every three weeks for two well, or three. Because <laughs> this is only number number four or five that four, I've joined yeah. in. But yep. all right. Um, do you? How many whips do you have? I have. Oh, do you want to start? Did you want to start with starts? I don't have any starts. Okay. I don't have any starts. It's all you. You first start. Should I? Should I start? I don't, do we starts? start with starts? Do we start, start with whips? I'll do it. Start with starts. I don't know the formula yet. I, it doesn't matter. We make it up. I know, we go. don't we? I have two starts because I have, um, there's a kitten in the background. Yes, <laughs> he, he, he will make an appearance. I don't know if you can hear it, but. Yeah. Uh, I uh, wanted to have some Ada projects ready to go mm -hmm. for um, retreat stitching because I'm just, I just, I just don't have good eyes for anything else. Um, so I didn't have anything going that was on Ada currently, so I had, I had to start something. Mm -hmm. I started two things. Well, actually, that's not true. I did have a project started on Ada for the purpose of, this would be great to take to the retreat. And I showed it in our last floss tube. Yeah. Yeah, and then now all the floss is gone. That's right. She accused me of stealing her floss. Well, no. Just misplacing. Misplacing her floss. It's misplacing. It, it's it's a huge, and I, that's what I, it's all DMC, so it's not. Right. It won't. It, I mean, it's probably like fifteen dollars worth of DMC. Mm. It's a that's a lot of DMC. That's like, that's like twenty skeins. Skeins. Uh huh. Is it a skein or a skein? Depends on who you ask. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah. So the floss is missing. My, yeah. I'll I'll replace it eventually, but I'm going to give it some time. So that was the Sanderson. Sanderson, something Sanderson, Sarah Sanderson, no, not Sarah. something Sanderson sampler. Anyways, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't work on it because I, after, since last floss do, I lost it. Well, you got kind of a little uh -huh. irritated, right? Well, I really, not with you. No, 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 just that it's gone, that the yeah. floss is gone. I mean, yeah. That's a, to re-kit something. Well, it was a lot of floss, not like, you know, oh, uh, 10 skeins or something. It was like. I mean, even 10 skeins, but no, right. it was definitely more than 20 skeins. I mean, it was like, it was just yeah. grip. Anyways, I digress. Um, one thing that I started, I got two things that I started. I'm going to show you first the one that um, is a paper pattern. So I can show you the picture. And it's Fiona and Edward by Kathy Barrick. Uh, there. I dig it. Mm -hmm. And it's called, it calls for needle point uh, silks with a conversion to DMC and I've done neither. I con I took the DMC conversions because I had most of the DMCs on hand. Mm -hmm. And then I just put them to, I I found um, oh, over dyed nice. cottons oh, cool. that were really similar. So I've, I made my own conversion of over dyed flosses because yeah. I do have a lot of over dyed cottons. I just have a lot of them. That's and cool. So I've started it. Um, it's on Cedar River Linens, 40 count, no, sorry, 20 count Yeah. Maple Bar Ada. Um, probably going to be a little see-through. I'll just fold it. If I fold it, it might help. Yeah, that's, 
If I fold it with the front to the front. <laughs> okay, put that up there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so obviously oh, I that's cool. I'm trying to You're trying to block it. I'm trying to get some fill in. Yeah. So I, I just did a lot of the outside. Uh, the horse is totally um outlined. And it connected? That's a border, right? Yeah. <laughs> is it fudged? Kinda. <laughs> But it's in no way that it's going to affect anything. Right? Else. No, 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 no. It still looks like a horse. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what's funny is that I used to draw horses that just never looked like horses. Well, as a girl, horses were oh ponies very important to me. Sure. I didn't have horses. I was a city girl. I, was, I didn't have horses, but yeah. it doesn't matter. Unicorns, Pegasus, right. the whole thing. So drawing a horse was extremely. So did you just get really good at it? Yes. Okay, through I got, practice. I got very good through practice. Yeah. Mustangs, you know. Those are the, the car? The, the, the wild. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. wild male horses. Yeah. They didn't hold the same appeal to me. No. Because I can draw a Mustang car. <laughs> really? I think I can. That's one of those confidence. <laughs> I've got something called the Revis confidence. Okay, here, here, take that. Take, take, oh, this, shut up. We're going to do it right now. Right on the back just put it right there and in the meantime i will show you that my second one that i just started is from mama witch x stitch patreon um so i'm gonna pull that up real quick while he's gone okay it's called frog and toad plant a garden i think it's her latest one uh, i don't know how the ring light we have to have the ring light on because it's seven o'clock at night right can you can you see that? So I'll read it for you guys. It's um it's it's very nice, but it was hard work, and it's just got uh, yeah a little character from the Frog and Toad books, which I did read my uh, son when he was young, but not a ton of them. But I think it just it's just an adorable pattern. So I got started on that one. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. See how see how mustangy that is. It's, it's it's completely identifiable. Yeah. Look, it's got a door. Yeah, it's got a door, and then those three lines. I'm like eighty percent sure that those are on the mustangs. They have three. Three. I'm eighty percent. Yeah. I'm eighty percent sure. Okay. I eat my words. Yeah. Here's now it. now should I draw a horse too? Yeah, go ahead and draw I'm a horse. Draw a horse. <laughs> something white. Here. Okay. Here's where I am on this. Not really so much. I mean, I wanted to do the same where I had a bunch of fill in, but yeah. I didn't get that far. Was work. Was work. <laughs> <laughs> so. But it'll be good for you to be, have to do. I mean, I don't know. I've never been to a retreat, so I don't know if it's good to yeah, have me things either. to think about. But or it's, not. it's, um, yeah, it's not a hard, it's not a difficult pattern. Mm -hmm. It's not super large. Um, I don't think that's going to be, I don't think it's going to be a challenge. So anyway, no, I'm going to bring sweet. that along. Yeah. Those were my two starts, of which I had okay. no. I know. There, right? Yeah, and this goes with that. Goes with that. Thanks. Is that is that why my floss went missing? <laughs> I don't know. I was just existing in the house. <laughs> okay, since I just talked, well timed and talked. You want, me your, do, you want me to do a whip? Do a whip. So I did, so I have one of my, what's fast becoming one of my favorite things to stitch on is my um, long dog sampler, the pointed fifth. Whoa, that ring sure it's, does get up there. It's awful. So it's huge. And um, I started in this upper corner right up here with the dog and the, yeah. thing. and I think last time this was what I had gotten done so far. Oh, that's. Isn't that you, cool? That's so professional. And so, well, I, 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 well, I did it right after our thing. But it's mm -hmm. on 40 count platinum by Zweigart with um, a red and black silk from Silk For You. Silk For You or Silks For You? Silks For You. Not like that. Because from Australia, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it was really hard to wait, but I think I, I overshared that last time, how impatient it was. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But this is what I've gotten done. Oh, there's a thread there. I'm not going to. This pull it right in there. Sure, it's supposed to be anyways. Through. Yep. Um, so I got my dog all in there, and I also did some fun 
like work mm -hmm. with the um the variegation like going just straight up and down for stripes to see what that does because i'm not used to trying to control for the variegation so I, on this one was when i was trying and you can see the stripes are going up and down on this one i wasn't trying and it's like the variegation is concentrated in different spots it pools it pools mm -hmm. yeah so um, I've been having a lot of fun with it. There's a little bit of back stitching, but I just, I love that dog. It's a lot of fun. And uh, so, yeah, so that's my, I, I'm leaving it up there because it's really fun. No, what I like though, is that you've got pooling around the dog, but the dog, so, and see how you're with the pig over here in the middle, the variegation goes this way. With mm -hmm. the dog, it's going this way. And then over here around the dog, it's pooling. And so, when you just do different things throughout the pattern. That makes it interesting? Yeah. Oh, or, cool. or it makes certain, it makes them stand apart a little bit as separate mm -hmm. motifs. Well, I'll say that I think we were watching the Hathaway Stitchers. We and have. She, well, last, 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 last night, I think we were watching the most recent one where she, I think one of them, I don't remember who, mm -hmm. shared that her long dog has each each one, each of the columns mm. is a different color. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it is all one color. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was such a really cool way to I do think, it. I think, her, I think it was Amity. Is it Amity? I think so. But could be wrong. But you're right. It's the Hathaway. It's one of the Hathaway stars. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but I was real Amity. I was really impressed. Yeah. I thought that was such a really cool choice I'd never thought of. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many long dogs I can do in my lifetime. Um, Two, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> right but uh but yeah you started late yeah i did yeah i start everything late yeah my career the family you not, you? not late 30 not late no you didn't start me late nope you started me early. i tried someday we'll share that with you no we won't knew you'll never share that with y'all your depends. turn depends well we know you <laughs> so uh, I did do some work on my Fractor Friends, so I'm going to show that. Fractor Friends. Fractor Friends. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh, it's back to mine. By so, Shakespeare's Peddler. Mm -hmm, by Shakespeare's Peddler. And uh, rather than doing it on the silk gauze, I am doing it on 28 count Lugana. By oh Lugana. my gosh, that looks so good. No. Keep searching for a white piece. Of I found one. I got one. It's like right behind it. So I went ahead and changed one of the colors in here i think it's this orange one mm -hmm. but there were two colors that were really similar um oh yeah you told me about that and then when i put it in it's like oh those are really different i i could have just done one shade instead of like <laughs> six but i don't know still it's fine and i really i like it um where the front picture go so and honestly this is awfully orangey and in the picture, it's actually more of a gray, like beige, like mm. beige. Oh, yeah, it is. And um, so it's making it stand out a lot more. Yeah. The oranges. Yeah, it's giving it's it a like kind of a, a real focus. different. It's giving it a different color, color story. You know, a different color vibe. You know. Is this something you do with horses? And I'm when not you're sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't it's know. Color, vibe. color vibes. <laughs> Stories. Yeah. But I'm not sure, but that I made the best choice but i made an okay choice so i'm going to keep going with that well i was i was teaching um one of my this is, this is so cool you guys one of my um patients at work um asked me to teach her how to cross stitch and so he works um, with uh, people in skilled nursing yeah you always have to repeat there's new people who come in oh i work i'm a speech language pathologist i work in uh, skilled nursing care and so um i kind of tend to work um from kind of from the neck up and so help people with um thinking and some people with dementia and all sorts of um uh post stroke problems um yada yada but one of my one of my residents um one of my patients wants to ask me to teach her how to cross stitch and so um we were we were uh i mentioned the term frogging um and that made her giggle Mm -hmm. uh, she thought that was pretty funny, and then and so we watched a little YouTube video on how to frog. <laughs> the, the, oh, I guess there's probably YouTube videos on how to frog. Oh, there was literally more than one. Oh, the three ways I picked the five minute video. Yeah, uh, that was three ways to frog, and I didn't know there were three ways. There are three. One is going back through 
what with your, you, with what your you, threaded needle with your threaded needle that's 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 a that's a dangerous way to go not that i don't do it but it's a dangerous way right to go. and 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 it was fun because we got to have some therapy some problem solving like why do you think that's bad and she's never she's never cross stitched before so she doesn't know i was explaining the x's and she's like oh so all you're doing is making x's I'm like oh yeah, yeah you are an advanced student yeah we are, we are moving yeah. along but um, I, I think that she said you could go back through the thread. I think she figured it out. Like you, the mm -hmm. problem is you can go back through the thread and that's bad. The split the thread. like Yeah. Because yeah. then it's all a mess. Then it's all a mess. Yep. And then, and then of course, there's the, the method I do, mm -hmm. which is I take it off the needle and then I just kind of pull, pull everything through. Yeah. If there's more than, I, I'll do one. If there's one stitch, I don't take it off the needle. And I, and I just cross my fingers. That it, I'm not going to cause any problems. I'll just go back through it with one stitch. I oh, with one. With yes. one stitch. I'll with one. one stitch. I'll do one. But if there's, if we're looking at three, four, five, just you take it off the needle yeah. and then you just. Yep. Whoosh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For um, sure. And I've been running into only picking up, you know, not all of the strand. So it gets, it gets yes. kind of bunched up in the back. But yeah. And then the last one was getting the seam ripper. And just ripping and the, the top the top thread out. I do end up having to do that. I, I'll show one because, where I had to do it. Yeah. It's because rough. when you get far enough along. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, you can if you're good enough, if you can if you can figure it out, you can rip the seam. You can rip the not the seam, the um floss mm -hmm. in the so that it's in the right direction so that you can start pulling it out, right? So you can start you can break it and then start pulling it out. You can use just your needle and start pulling. You don't have to like. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Split that's every what, one of them. Cause that's what she showed was splitting. She split probably like, I mean, it was, it was probably like 30, mm. 30 stitches. She, every single one of them. She yeah. Split. She split the top and then she grabbed yeah. some tweezers and just tweezed them out. Sometimes you do that. Well, and also if you're someone who railroads, I still don't understand. I'll, I'll need to, someone to show me railroading. Because I just don't, I, I know you're I can splitting. Show you, I can show you how to do it. I don't, because I so often use um, variegated, my habit is not to railroad because that will mess up your variegation. Okay. Um, Doesn't it use up a lot of thread too? I don't see why it would use up more than regular. I use up my. I oh, you're not going over the same stitch. No, you just go out and then back to cross the legs. Cross the legs. You know, okay. it's like one leg this way and they come back and all the legs go that way. Oh, so, but if oh, you do that, that like that's so hard. If you make a mistake, that's what I'm saying. Then you have to go all the way back Ooh. and do the whole, yeah, I know Ooh. that's, and I make plenty of mistakes. So I'm, wow. I go for the easy to undo yeah. version more than anything. Yeah. yeah Anyways, yeah. moving on. Yeah. Anyway, do so, um, I don't think there's anything else more except. Next time I'll share what she, we, we got on one, two, three stitch oh. and she picked a pattern that was like a mix. She wanted, this was so, I don't know if I told you this, mm -hmm. this was so cute as we're looking through one, two, three stitch. She, she wanted to do butterflies. And so she picked a study in pink as one of them without knowing that it was you. That's a little advanced for a beginner. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> I said, even though it's free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, that's pretty advanced. Yeah. So instead I'll, sh I'll find it before we either this time or next time. Mm. Um, but she picked one that had some butterflies, but then it had a monochromatic like border and words, mm. um, not border border, but like it was all pretty continuous. So the counting would be really obvious. Okay. And she's someone who's done the dot painting. Uh, you mean with the diamond diamond painting? Diamond painting, which yeah. is actually not painting. It's no, like it's glowing. Little, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so she she understands, I think, the basic concept of a of a pattern. Mm -hmm. So it'll be fun. Anyway, um, obviously you'll never know her name. Um, no, Hippa. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, or even uh, I said she, I meant he. It's, it's, so anyway, all right. The next one that I worked on that I was I'm I'm having fun with it, but it's it's kind of challenging because it's kind of um. It's more it's more counting and less kind of connected than I'm used to. Oh yeah, you know because I have to count in the in the spaces where there are no stitches. I can't, mm -hmm. I'm used to kind of going from one object to another. Mm -hmm. But it's my um, we it's like my constitution one, and so we the people it's got three different fabric, three different flosses, 
that I think we just got from Stash. Yeah. And we're doing it on, I'm doing it on a, a mystery 36 or 40 count. We're not sure. No, so we haven't we got it. To, we I got it from Nashville, I think. Yeah, and it was it didn't have a label. Yeah. I'm it's probably 40. It's okay. probably 40 count because you're using one thread and the coverage yeah. is really good, and I'm sure it's 40. I've got a loose thread. We're just gonna yeah. we're just gonna do it. Oh, okay. But when I last time, mm -hmm. it was a start last time. Yeah, that's a teeny teeny a teeny tiny teeny tiny, tiny one. <laughs> <laughs> itty, 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 itty. So that's what I got. The start was like the upper corner of the of the border of just red. So we won't need to flash that for too long. But I got a lot of work done. I, I mean, to me, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, I got that border and I had to count all the way over. I have no idea if they're going to match up. But I decided that I wanted to start yeah. working on the W um, because well, it's a lot of fun. Because I think that only, only seasoned vets should just do this is my opinion do the whole border without any of the interior because if people do it all the time they'll do the whole border first yeah. then fill it in i think only seasoned vets should do that because if you mess up on the border but you start working on the interior uh -huh. that will give you clues as to whether you messed up before you actually get oh, there no. you know yeah yeah i don't know no that's funny because I, I got one that we'll share next time that i just did the yeah. border first yeah yeah <laughs> Is it big? No, it's small. Oh, if it's small, I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Yeah. Okay, should I share one? Yeah, you should do a whip. I just have one more whip. Oh, I should pull up the picture of it though. If you haven't seen. So this is this one is from my Patreon. Um, uh, which is no, I'm gonna pull up the picture. It's called Within a Dream is the name of the Oh pattern. yeah. You're 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 Stitch along. Mm -hmm. uh, the stitch along goes through um, uh, October 31st. Thank you. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. You can see the very top of the pattern for free. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to see the whole page. So, um, I don't know. Can you see that? It's hard to tell because I think that the our, our ring light is causing yeah. issues. But this is called Within a Dream. I started the it's um, a Patreon pattern from mid-July, mm -hmm. and um, it is still available in the Patreon-only shop. So if you're a member of, of my Patreon, um, and I'll try to remember to put a link in this time. I put I put nothing. I usually put nothing in our... Yeah, we're a one-take pony yeah. show. Yeah, and then it takes so long to upload we that... We get distracted. I've moved on. I don't even mm -hmm. know. I don't know. So I'm going to try and remember to put at least that in there. Um, well, that's, that's our, that's our aged, that's the elderly our one. aged cat. So anyways, um, I'm trying to get, I want to get this done by October 31st. Shouldn't be a problem, except that I keep getting distracted. I'm going to move this Errant. needle and I've been, I've got on scroll bars. I've been using the, um, the, no, I gotta go back farther. <laughs> Oh, cool. There we go. Look at that. That's it's getting big, huh? Um, I've been using this the um scroll the what is it called? Hearth stand. Hearth. The hearth side mark to floor stand mm -hmm. from Evertote. From Evertote. Uh which I love. I highly recommend. And she's a two handed stitcher, y'all. I can do it. So down here you've got the beginning of the skull, and then there'll be a little bit of grass. You have the mushrooms done? Yeah, the mushrooms. Oh, yeah, except for the highlight, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, the highlight's still unstitched, but. Oops. Oh, it's probably fine. Yeah, okay. Can you see the Mustang through that? I'm sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> hang on, wait, leave it there. The Mustang? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I've been working on this um, since mid July, but there have been a lot of distractions. So, well, it's, it's, I mean, to me, it's just, so, it's big. I mean, it's big and there's a lot there. There's a lot there. Well, yeah. and I split it. I split the pattern too. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Cause there was some requests, I think. It's a huge pattern. It's also really like kind of an awkward size to like mm -hmm. frame or really, it's just an awkward, I get that. Like the, I think they call that like a bell pole. I you know. A what? Maybe a bell pole. I don't know, like the, from the like Notre Dame. Maybe I don't know, but uh, I've seen patterns 
that are like really long like this and they're always they'll call them a bell pole pattern i'm not really sure why but that can be kind of a weird pa pattern size so i split them into two so i've, I've made two, two complete patterns one with the raven um and one with the skull mm -hmm. and so you could you could stitch one the other or both and they're the same the same stitch count so they could sit right next to each other also the way that works on the Patreon is if you're a member at any level, you get the password protect password for the shop. Mm -hmm. And if you buy that with that within a dream, it has all three patterns in it. It mm -hmm. should have all three patterns. Um, mm -hmm. So all together or split into two. Yeah. Yeah. They're all yep. they're all included. So yeah. Well, that's all my whips. Oh, I got two more. I've been having a lot of fun with my tattooed guy. My tattooed guy. It's a really good one. And I'm I I think it's gonna it's gonna go in our living room when it's done. You think so? One hundred percent. That's cool. Yep, it's perfect. Yep. So it's called it's by um, Punto de Cross, and that's the image of him. And it's on. I'm doing it on sixteen account Ada. I've been doing a lot of public stitching, um, where like I'll go to a meeting and I'll stitch, or um, we'll probably talk about it later today. But I did some some public stitching in a where other people were knitting. And they called it Needlepoint. They, they had a knitting group. Yeah, and, I, and they called it Needlepoint. Mm -hmm. and I said, they yeah. were really excited about it. Yeah, they were. Like, oh, yeah. Needlepoint. Yeah. And I said, <laughs> yeah, it's a cross stitch uh, pattern. Yeah, exactly. And they, cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but this was where I was at uh, last time. And so it, it to me, it just looks so incomplete. Um, well, yeah, because because it was because it surely is and um, I've gotten a lot done. I got a bunch. I got a bunch of that frame filled in. But Better with a beard. Is he it looked like Well, he just looked like his chin just ended there. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that was just right. Oh. Chin just is just done. There's <laughs> It is because his mouth is probably underneath the underneath yeah, the mustache. Under the mustache for sure. um, but I got that beard in, and what's fun about the beard is that it's the same as the mustache, and that there's four different browns in there. Mm -hmm. There's or there's a black outline, and then three other browns in, and I think that it's the same. It's going to be the same for the for his hair mm -hmm. up here. So, um, but then I got his ear in, and I, I just like how uh, it's an unfinished ear. Like I, I ran out of I ran out of floss. So there's more ear to be done in black. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. <laughs> but, but I am. I'm having a lot of fun because I can do like the blocking in. Because um, uh, one of the things that we that was we've been busy about is we changed our living room setup. Um, we mat we moved up around a whole bunch of furniture. Mm -hmm. We got a little love seat. And so our stitching is different. Mm -hmm. My stitching chair is gone. It's in the oh, it's in the bedroom now. It's a reading chair. Mm -hmm. um, you could technically stitch in it, but you and I are both, uh, we're just addicted to the, the lighted magnifier. Oh yeah. Once you get used to it. I use it on 16 count Ada. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need it, but you're like, but it's <laughs> better though. It's better. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, but I can do, but since we've changed it and we haven't got like a floor, we're, we're just adjusting. I'm clamping one of my tables, one of my lights to a table. Mm -hmm. and then bring the table closer and mm -hmm. I'm back to that. I'm getting overheated while stitching problem again. I don't know. I mean, are you just too excited? <laughs> <laughs> My blood's just boiling, <laughs> but I can do, um, with that one I can do because it's, it's what, 60 at yeah, 16 count. So because I, I can do that without a light, mm -hmm. uh, magnifier, mm -hmm. I can do that, um, in the evenings when we're watching yeah. our old folks TV. Mm -hmm our normal folks TV as we get older. Sorry. We become normal. Yeah. I don't know. Yada, no, wait, yada. <laughs> Speaking of the Hathaway stitches, I did yeah. not know this, but, um, that they were boomerang stitches. Well, yeah. Amity is. Amity is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. And so I have been stitching, um, my flowers. There's no pattern there. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. which, um, had, which was fun. I'm stitching it on 16, On 40 count, Pumpkin King, with, uh, with called for DMCs. Mm -hmm. um, the problem was, of course, that I was two stitches off on 
this orangey, this peachy flower right here. Two stitches off on that bad boy. And I had it, oh, I don't know, 90% done of the of the, the actual flower part. I realized I was flipping you off. I did not mean to. Mm. It was truly a mistake. So I had to frog the whole thing. So I'm only showing you that I have frogged it. Um, it's <laughs> not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah. So, so it's a new, I'm, I'm inventing a new kind of, um, a new kind of width yeah. to show yeah. that there's less there. Yeah. And that's literally it. That's it. Yeah. But that was a, that was a whole evening. Oh gosh. Of work. Oh, of, and of like, I mean, I'm a, I'm not a sailor necessarily, but there was a, there was a decent amount of cursing mm. while I was doing it. Like, oh, I believe mm. I'm going to do this. Mm. So mad. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. I think. So was that the last one? I think that was the last whip. Yeah. I, yeah. That's for now. Well, there's other stuff, but. But that's your, your last stitching. Whip. That's my last whip. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well then knitting. Was that, what was that? Was my it your phone? phone? Do you want to check on it? No. Nah, okay. it's, either, it's either okay or it's not. Oh, I'm going to change it now. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So, uh, I uh, I picked up knitting. I feel like this has gotten so bright all of a sudden. Let's just do it. Turn it down. Let's do it. Now that the sun's going. Oh. 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 Do you do you guys feel more relaxed now? Because I think we feel more relaxed now. So um, I picked up knitting again sometime mid August because for me knitting is a fall slash winter mm -hmm. um, event and it has no it has no place in in summer. So I put, I put everything away last spring and about mid August, I was ready for fall. So, uh, I pulled out my knitting. Um, I pulled out my, here it is. Um, oh, um, what a fall bag. I know this. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, do you see what that is? Those are just pumpkin spice lattes all over the place. All over the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the, the woman who made this for me though, she doesn't. She's not continuing to make bags, mm. so I'm not gonna send you. <laughs> oh, sorry. A hunt for this. <laughs> tough um, luck, ladies. Tough luck, and gentlemen. But maybe you can find the fabric. So I was in the middle of making a sort of simple lace shawl last year when I quit, and so I picked that up again, and I'll kind of show you. That's simple. Yeah, kind of. I think. Wow. I think it's kind of simple. A simple okay. lace. Let's see if you can see it. it. Obviously, it's it's. I can't stretch it out all the way because of the size of the needles. So I don't know if that's coming across, but I think you can kind of see what's going on there. But um, I also don't know because of the lighting if the color is really that accurate. But it's a very pinky beige. Mm. It's a beige with a kind of a pink, like tint, I guess. I think and. Um, Gonna tell you what kind of yarn it is, but maybe I won't. I'm not going to. No. I have another skein of it somewhere, but it's not in my bag. And so next time, next time I'll tell you all about it. Um yeah, I like so it. it's pretty. It looks like it's squares. It's that you're putting. well, it's triangles. Oh, by the way, this <laughs> I always do this. And I'm like, this is my knitting, and I made it up. Goodbye. But this actually has a pattern, it's free, <laughs> and it's called Alexis's Prayer Shawl. Oh. A L I X apostrophe, apostrophe S. Oh, okay. A L I X apostrophe S prayer shawl. Um, I don't remember what website I got it from, but just look that up and it's free. It's so cool. free. But you're yeah. saying it's triangles, not squares? Mm -hmm. It's, um, and you can see it. Oh, like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. Do you see the triangles? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it looks like it's a big. Square, but those are just no triangles put together. Those are that's what. Uh, oh, two triangles makes a square if they're right angles. This is true. Yeah. yeah. So I've I've been working on that, and then I started a project. Um. With are you done with this? Yes. Okay. With crochet, because um, I I know a basic. I know basic crochet. I've done a couple of granny squares in my life, but I thought it would be cool because I, I well, Hobby Lobby is 30% off of 
<laughs> yarn. So I got some. Yeah. These are all acrylics, which I think is really good for a blanket because then you can just wash it and you just don't have to be you don't have to worry about it too much. You can't wash wool, can you? This way. Um, well, not in the washing machine. There mm. is a super wash wool, but I. I wouldn't trust it to I go. I feel like I washed one of your sweaters and it got. No, one of my shawls. Oh my gosh. Shawls. It was a beautiful shawl. And I did with like a lace weight. It was this gorgeous and it was big and, and then beautiful. It, and then it came out like. I tried. <laughs> it was so small. It was. It was like a quarter of what yeah. the size that it was. Yeah. And um, I tried to use it as a table. Runner or something. Runner type thing. And. So the memory is it's still traumatic. It's evidently. very traumatic and and sad. Wow. I got some squares going. Oh my goodness. I'm doing solid squares because it's just easier. Cool. They you don't have to tuck in all the different um when you do multiple colors within a square, there's all kinds of loose uh, all kinds of these that you have to these. No, no, I'm with you. Oh, okay, the tails. I was looking at the fat, at the yarn. Oh. Yeah, because it's that's this this yarn. So does that mean that this has enough of one color at a time? Mm -hmm. Like here's one where it changed. I'm not sure how I feel about the ones that change. Oh, <laughs> the back. oh, like, that looks weird. It's really weird. I may or may not use this. I like the. I mean, I like the contrast. Uh huh. But it's not. But it looks like a stain. It does. Like bleach gone. It looks very. Uh, this one's strange because oh. there's like a little bit of orange at the bottom. Wait, oh. again, I'm showing you the back. Not that it matters too much, but I'm not sure that I like them when they change, but it's fine. And then I got some of this. This is going to. It can be like an Amish square. Go in there as well. An Amish square like the. Well, I don't think you mean like an Amish stitch. Yeah. Yeah. I read on the Internet and the Internet is, not a thing? is it never lies. And it said that that is an old wife's tale and that there is no such thing as an Amish Amish stitch. I I feel a little um I know bamboozled. I know. I based a lot of my life on that wisdom. Abraham Abraham Lincoln has said a lot of amazing things on the internet. Abraham Lincoln sure has. Uh yeah. So that's and then what, that's what my feed says. I just have a goal of doing a, a I'm gonna do my first pair of socks before mm -hmm. the end of the year. So I've never done a pair. I did mm -hmm. one sock once. I know, and I remember it. So I bought, I went on Etsy and I bought a couple of sock um, sets that um, are called. Isn't it, isn't it because you started a sock uh -huh. with, with the wrong. With bad thread. With bad thread. Or bad. <laughs> bad yarn. Yarn. Fiber. Yeah. It yeah. was bad yarn. But I didn't get very far before I was like, well, that's not going to work. Sweet. So uh, potions and pearls on Etsy. And this is a set for. Christmas, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. Yeah, no, I love it. It's eighty-five fifteen uh, merino and nylon. So, and this one's for fall, and it's called Sleepy yeah. Hollow. Hall so, Halloween esque. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. Well, I'm gonna cool. do one of these. So, why did they? Why do they have? So you got this multicolored and then a solid next to it. Is there a reason for that? So this would be so that you can do a toe and the top cuff. In a um, oh, in a solid is that preferred? It's just a style. Oh, okay. You, you know, and that's so that's soft yarn. I know, right? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Okay, that's all my knitting. You didn't want to show off your haul? No, not right now. Okay. We got a. I got a bunch of new yarn, but like, I mean, who wants to just? I so don't know. the thing is, is that we were set more. to record five hours ago. Uh -huh. And we 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 got we realized that the microphone was not charged. So what are you going to do? But drive two hours to the yarn store. The closest yarn store. Yeah, spend an hour there and then drive two hours back and then record at night. There was no other option. Nope. I mean, we couldn't have taken a nap. I wasn't tired. No. So do you want to talk about reading? Because sure, I. We don't usually have a reading section, but mm -hmm. lately I have been really into reading audio books and physical books. So mm -hmm. um, I thought I would talk about a couple of books that I was reading that I liked. Mm -hmm. Only the ones I liked. Really? Yeah. Oh, because you were trying a lot of... 
So the thing is, is that we both have in the last month have decided to broaden our, our scope, our horizons a little bit. Um, right. Maybe you're, <laughs> I certainly have, I have decided that, um, I'm going to pick up a couple, pick back up a couple of different hobbies oh, yeah. that I've been trying, mm -hmm. you know? And so, um, I'm trying to read more. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm learning, I'm going to learn more on the banjo. I can't play a song yet. I, mean, I couldn't before I decided to I learned a song on the banjo. She did. I took banjo lessons. And I'll bet y'all can probably guess which song it is. And I learned the exact same song. Nobody <laughs> taught me these. These are just the, okay, here's the drills you're supposed to do. Uh -huh. And then I went home and was like, I almost yeah. hummed it. Are we making them guess what oh, song Oh, no, no, no. Is? You can tell them. Oh. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> And I got, I got, I also wanted to learn how to play the fiddle. Yeah. And so I took violin lessons mm -hmm. for a while, a couple months, maybe. Mm -hmm. Also figured out smoke on the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, it's not my goal to figure out smoke on the smoke water. Smoke on the water? Because I can teach you smoke on no, the water. No, I know you can. I can. I know you can. <laughs> no, um, I think I'm probably going more bluegrass style. Yes. Um, that, I mean, that, that's like Earl Scruggs and that kind of stuff. Appropriate for banjo. Yeah. So. Yeah. So that, and then I am re getting back into Spanish because um, we got a lot of Spanish language folks. Mm -hmm. um, it's fun. A couple of days ago at, at work, we had um, one of the ladies had a um, all of them in a, a lot of the Spanish speakers in to the therapy gym, and she served them all tamales, and it was just it was just beautiful. Homemade. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mom well, made. Mom homemade. made. Yeah. She's five months pregnant. She's not gonna. She's not going to cook? She, well, not that. No. Or rather, she didn't. I don't know if she would or Homemade not, tamales are amazing. Yeah. Tamales from the grocery store. Don't not, hold the candle. Mm -mm, they're just mm -hmm. not the same food group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she, uh, yeah. So, um, so, but it was fun listening to them because I understood some of it, but not all of it. And because um, mm -hmm. it's really, it's really fast. But so I'm learning, I'm going to learn, I'm back into learning Spanish again, uh, banjo, Spanish and chess. I'm starting to pick chess back up mm -hmm. um, and like learn how to do openings and stuff all the time. So, but I'm also trying to read more. So we're both in that boat. Yeah. Like we're both reading more. Yeah. So that's where we overlap. I just finished a book that I'm, that I'm, 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 I have a, I have a hard relationship with it mm -hmm. because it gives a lot of really amazing, good instructions um, that I don't always live up to, but um, at least I've got goals. And so the book, it's called um, Praying Like Monks, Living Like Fools. And it's really neat because um, if you ever uh, have a kind of a, a <laughs> like you're like me, you have a deficit in your prayer life um, for whatever that means for you, this has a lot of really amazing um, instructions. And it's by Tyler Station. Statton. St uh, Tyler Statton. And uh, Praying Like Monks, Living Like Fools. And I've even got... I don't know if you can see it, but like the little, I've got a page folded for each of the instructions. So at the end of each chapter, he gives an instruction like do this. And so it's real straightforward, mm -hmm. uh, which is helpful for a black and white kind of guy like me. Yeah. You know, so now I know I've ignored it today. Uh, so maybe I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, that's what I have finished recently. Okay. Talk about one year. Well, the one I finished recently was audiobook and it I'll um I want to give you the author too, so I'm gonna look it up real quick. Um got it. I listened to it. It is called Well, we do that because we, we've been lately we've we've um prior to like a week ago, we uh have decided there's nothing good on TV anymore. So we've been listening to more audiobooks mm -hmm. while, we're, while we're stitching or knitting or macrame. Whatever. <laughs> uh, it's called Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. <laughs> it's really fun. It's a really fun book. I think it's read well. It's also, um, it's based in Australia and they found an Australian um, speaker. <laughs> I mean, not that it's not, they don't speak Australian, but they <laughs> found an an Australian who speaks English as an Australian. Um, so you, you mean someone with an Australian accent? With an Australian accent. Which, <laughs> 
I usually listen to books at 1.2 speed. I wondered. No, I had to listen to it at one speed because yeah. it is really, I mean, it's, be it's beautiful, <laughs> but I do struggle yeah. a little bit with the I mean, comprehension. God, God forbid your attention wander for a moment. Ah, <laughs> Getting it back is like, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here, here's the, here's the cover of it. But so... I thought this was a super fun book and it was, um, what, nine, nine and a half hours to listen to. Mm -hmm. So it's a really good amount of time. Yeah. Also. I and, recommend. And who's it by? Stevenson. Ben, Stevenson. Benjamin Stevenson. Benjamin Stevenson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Australian speaker. Oh, the guy who read it? Is uh -huh. Barton Welch. Yeah. Barton Welch. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm in the middle of, mm -hmm. I'm in the middle of The Fighter's Mind. And this is a guy who wrote, um, his previous book was A Fighter's Heart. And I may lose some of you and that's okay. Um, <laughs> but in A Fighter's Heart, the guy, the author went from no, never, I think never having fought to fighting in his first MMA match. And it was a, I'm reading him backwards. This is his, this is the sequel. Um, to his thing where he talks about the he's looking at the mental game of all these all these a bunch of different athletes and a bunch of different kinds um there's boxers there's wrestlers but also the guy that was the movie um i think it was bobby fisher the chess guy josh um uh, bobby fisher searching for bobby fisher i think was the book about the um the chess the prodigy they, they made movie? into a movie yeah the chess prodigy who was who was playing against uh, grandmasters at like age nine. Mm -hmm. um, but his, he's got a chapter in there because it's a chapter. Each chapter is a different, um, talking with a different fighter mm -hmm. um, or athlete. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's I a thought of chess is an ass. Well, fighter. because he moved into Aikido, um, which is really big. It's a martial art that's really big in, in oh. Thailand. But, but there's so many parallels between chess and fighting um, oh. because it's a mental... You have to pay attention to it's not just um you know fist pounding flesh mm -hmm. it's like there's a lot to the mental game is that why you um, got back into chess no i actually read josh's book the guy who the story is based on and i stopped halfway through the book because i thought it was boring yeah <laughs> he's josh okay. you're i mean you're a better man than i oh yeah you've accomplished more in your lifetime than i he's, ever he's, will. he's watching right right but yeah. Um, no, his book was called The Art of Learning, and it, he, I mean, what he's doing is he approaches things with a single-minded focus that um, everything else disappears, mm -hmm. and that's not quite how I want to live my life. No, yeah. You know? I More well-rounded. Yeah, it's that's what of, I'm going yeah. for, because mm -hmm. I've never been musical. I've never played a musical instrument successfully. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm, I've got another physical thing that I'm, a goal that I'm going for, um, that I'm doing, that... Uh, that's just not appropriate for. Um, We're case. really going off the floss two rails. As oh, far as floss, <laughs> right. So learning. So the thing is like learning how to stitch has been an interesting thing because it takes a lot of focus and it's a new skill for me. Um, and I, and the reason that I've moved into doing a lot of other things in addition to stitching is because it was getting kind of the only thing I do is stitch um, mm -hmm. in the afternoons. Yeah. And we kind of wanted to move, I, I kind of wanted to move yeah. away from that and it well, yeah, multiple, not to move away from stitching, but mm -hmm. to add to the stitching. Mm -hmm. to add, yeah. Yep. All right. Um, I'm almost, I'm 20 pages away from being done with this book. But then Super frustrated that she couldn't finish it today. Things just happened today. I was going to finish it today before I took a shower and I couldn't, but, um, but I'll finish it tonight. But I love this book. This is, I think, from 2016. And maybe um, The Mermaid and Mrs. Hancock. By Imogen Hermes Gawar. Um, I picked this up at Powell's when I was in Portland visiting family because I wanted a book to take to the beach. And I thought this seemed beachy, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. It's back. Oh, the back. Uh, it's a mermaid. Uh, Mrs. Hancock, my, my maiden name is Hancock. So I literally <laughs> went to the beach with Mrs. Hancock. That's my mom. So it felt really, <laughs> felt like. <laughs> important that I get this book That's and funny. I have loved I've loved this book it's 
one of my favorite books. And yet when I ask her what it's about, I'm like, it's too much. To very explain. hard to explain. It's all over the place. I know there's a mermaid. I think there's a dude. Um, you know. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get a lot. I, I couldn't I couldn't understand it. It's set in like old timey England. And there's a merchant, uh -huh. middle class merchant guy who gets a mermaid, but he didn't want it. And he's <laughs> got to figure out what to do with it. Right. He ends up coming across this high class. Oh. Like, what would be a classy word for it? Like the oh, oh, like a, a, a lady of the night is a yeah, it's a house of ladies of the night. Oh, a brothel. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, falls for this this chick in there, and then she's like, but she's super vapid. But then, like, her life crumbles, and you're sure that she's going this one direction. Like, she's like, she's she's just she's just empty, and mm. she's happy with it. And things are going really good for her. So you think, okay, and then mm. he's well, he's doing okay. He sold the mermaid, and I don't want to give it away, but like. <laughs> Like again, there's it's a lot. Like, <laughs> it's like it, it, there's a lot. Yeah. But it's very satisfying. Mm. So I think I sold it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm I mean, you can't give it away. I think everyone everyone I'm gonna read it next. There's gonna be a run on this one. <laughs> the mermaid and Mrs. Hancock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yep. Oh yes, you have one more. I'm gonna start. Oh, you have a. St oh, I didn't bring it. It will be. Well, that's okay. It's Carl Hyacin. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. And uh, if you've never read his books, they're about um, uh, mostly people in Florida. And so, Florida uh, man meme. Right. Like, right. Situation. Um, I don't even know what it's about. I just know that it's his. Mm -hmm. It's him. And so I knew that it would be good. Mm -hmm. um, and so. Carl Hyacin, Squeeze Me. I think it's the newest one. I don't know, remember where we got it. Oh, because we, we discovered a new bookstore, new to us, mm -hmm. in Houston. Yeah. Um, last well, week. Outside we of Houston. Two I hours mean, down. Yeah. Um, hour and a half down. Sold some books, mm -hmm. picked up some new books. It was a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, before we go, um, we have a giveaway. That's why we're here. So where's your... Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's right here. So we had... Um, did they have them? I didn't bring them over to. Should I go get them? I didn't bring them. Do you Did know you where they are? Yeah, I know. I'll go get them. We had two, to the camera. two sets of the walk by. We have two sets of floss drops that we were giving away um, from the cat's cottage. Is that a question? Okay, please bring the card too. I'm almost, I'm like, I'm 99% sure it's the cat's cottage on Etsy. Um, it's the potty mouth stitcher. If you watch, Go watch the Potty Mouth Stitcher, uh, her YouTube, and it's her shop on Etsy. But we have two sets of floss drops that we we're giving away. One is cat themed, one's dog themed. So that was explained last last episode, and so now we're just giving them away. Yep, there's one of the dogs. <laughs> yeah. There's one of the cats. Oh, it's upside down, but that's okay. But that's what cats do. It's, it's just so cat. That's what our kitten does. So. For dog, uh, Rebecca Journey three one eight three. Okay, and she she put Helen in her in her um, comment, and that's mm -hmm. why we picked her. Rebecca Journey three one eight three. Okay, and then for the cats, Forest City Stitching at Forest City Forest City Stitching. You get the cat one. So, um, what should they do? They need to. Contact us at the artsy housewife at gmail.com. Um, the artsy housewife at gmail.com mm -hmm. uh, with an address to send it to. So, um, and be over 18. I hear a lot of floss tubers say that. Well, that's because we can't legally take an address of someone who's under 18. Okay. And so, so do that. Please be over just, 18. Just be over 18. Yeah. And if you're not, let us know. And I guess if we don't hear from somebody in, then, the, in the month or two that it takes us to have another floss tube, then we'll do it again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, is that it? That's it. Do you have any? I don't have anything else to talk you about. You didn't want to share that one? Nope. Okay. We're not going to share that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do want to say we, we really appreciate all the comments um, in the last video about your your Helen stories. There was a wiener dog who 
I think could have rolled and ate so much food. Mm -hmm. um, there was just so many fun stories and we just really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. It's been a month and we've kind of adjusted in and, and, uh, and we just really, I just want to say thank you so much about yeah. all that. We haven't, so, seen a, we haven't seen a single animal. No, we, we did. We saw the aged cat, oh, Seamus, Lady Seamus. Yeah. Um, but Bugsy has not been around. We thought it would be something. I had to put a dictionary on the cord mm. to the light because I knew that he would pull it down. He's the kitten. He's the holy terror, but beautiful. He's okay, good. we're done. He's good looking. I guess are we done? Okay, bye.